Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. So today I am building in Windenburg and I'm building a home for my new sim that I just created and I'm gonna make her a plant sim. So I don't know if you guys have seen it, you probably have, but there was a update yesterday and now we can make our sims for a limited time into a plant sim so all you need to do is find these like magical beans or emotional beans and with those beans you can plant a tree and then with the tree you can have forbidden fruits and with that fruit you can turn into a plant tree no a plant sim not a plant tree a plant sim so i don't know for sure if i got it right because i haven't played yet i've only been building today because i absolutely needed a home for my sim before I started that is like the main thing that I always do when I'm starting a new household or a new save or anything I need a home for that sim and usually I try to really personalize it so when I start out my game I can really play and focus on the gameplay and not be annoyed by the surroundings that my sim is in I cannot play in a in a prefabricated home you know the homes that we get with the game itself i cannot play in those i get so annoyed so yeah i needed a home for her to start out in so of course she is going to love gardening so there will be lots of flowers and ivy and in the backyard i'm gonna make a little section for gardening i'm gonna add in a sunroom at the back and lots and lots of large windows for natural light so what i did um what I did saw is or that I uh, saw in a let's play or not really a let's play it was like an overview <laughs> that you the the plant sims they do need lots of sunlight and they need water so they don't eat but they do drink lots of water and I don't think they go to the toilet I'm not sure any I'm not sure anyways I know they need water and lots of sunlight so I thought let's do lots of large windows for that natural lighting I did add in a kitchen because your sim is not gonna stay as a plant sim forever I think they can only be a plant sim for five days and after those five days you need to eat another forbidden fruit to turn back into a plant sim if i have that correct so there is a kitchen for the times that your sim doesn't want to be a plant sim of course or for the time that she's still trying to uh create that magical tree she needs to eat of course so there is a kitchen there is a bathroom there's actually two bathrooms here there is a uh, bedroom and there is a balcony section as well so i did go for a one bedroom house i didn't do like multiple bedrooms and kids bedrooms that is not the build today i just went with a single sim home but there's definitely enough space for you to add in more bedrooms if you want i mean i made a little section on the second floor for activities but you can definitely turn that into a second bedroom if you like and even the uh, balcony that i'm gonna make at the back side you can in wall that with just yeah with walls of course and then you can make that into a bedroom as well but for now it just has one bedroom but it looks really really nice this is definitely a really nice house if you're starting out with only one sim and then you can of course build up later so here on the side i'm going with large windows because i knew i needed the living room to be there and then on the second floor there i'm making this balcony section and then on that balcony there is all the activity so the easel is going to be there the computer and there is gonna be that little bonsai tree that your sim can play with to get inspired i'm gonna place that there as well and um, so i'm going with a very white looking theme just because that really fitted in with what i was going for um i'm going with more of a romantic feminine look for this house so yeah i needed a white looking traditional home and i think it looks really nice and you guys know if you are following me for quite some time and you have seen more of my traditional homes i always go back to white because i just love how that combines with the flowers and it looks gorgeous so i was absolutely happy with this so here making a little shaded area of course uh, behind the sunroom so that section here that is the sunroom that is um 
that is going to be like a seating area there and just lots and lots of plants. That's like basically it, plants, planters and a little seating area there. Um, so your sim can do some indoor gardening if she likes. And there's also going to be a large section where she can do outdoor gardening as well. Um, so here just trying to figure out how the landscaping is going to be and of course the fencing. So for the fencing, I'm gonna go with um, hedges. I'm gonna go with hedges and I'm gonna alternate that between um, get together fences. So at first I was like, hmm, maybe a white picket fence. That is nice, but it didn't really fit in for what I was going for. I mean, it's a plant sim. We needed lots of plants. So definitely needed hedges so that white picket fence is going to disappear and here I'm just playing around with walls and stuff like that and seeing what just looks nice and I really liked that brick wall so brick there and then all of the other is gonna be hedge and a little bit of wooden fence uh, so yeah that is what I'm doing right now um so yeah that is basically all that I needed to say about this section. How is your day going by the way here in Belgium? It was such a gloomy gloomy day. Uh, we had such great weather last weekend. It was gorgeous. We, we hit 23 degrees here which is awesome for April but today it's just very gloomy and it kind of rained uh, a little bit and I just was looking at the weather for tomorrow and for Sunday and it's gonna rain as well so oh, I'm feeling kind of bummed out about that because Sunday it's Easter here in Belgium and we do celebrate Easter as a family and usually I um, take the Easter eggs and I hide them outside I mean we have like a really large um, not garden it's not my garden but we have a really large area where the horses are and usually we just go and hide the eggs there and then the children run around with their little baskets and it's so much fun but it's gonna rain and now i need to hide them in my home and i have such a really tiny small house and it's gonna be kind of hard to hide it without the children noticing so it's gonna be a little bit of a struggle i mean for selena Anna, my oldest daughter she knows the Easter Bunny isn't real but Sadie is four years old and she she still believes in the Easter Bunny <laughs> uh, for he for her it's still real so yeah I need to really look at what I'm doing but yeah I'm just gonna make the best of it and just try to hide it all here in the home and hopefully she doesn't notice it um so anyways here started with the landscaping at the front of the house I'm going with a overly white and purple color scheme at the front there is a little bit of red from the woohoo bush um because I find that woohoo bushes are very 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 necessary in my game i just love using them and i did ask my husband and he said it as well that i needed a woohoo bush because this is a plant sim and he thought she might want to woohoo in a bush to be closer to nature so i thought yeah that makes sense add in a woohoo bush there um so here doing what terrain painting and stuff like that and then we are almost finished here um yeah and going to do the back of the house of course adding in some greenery there so there's really lots and lots of ivy on this house and lots of plants surrounding it making it look really romantic and just a really fun and nice looking place that a plant sim would love to live in. I mean, I would love to live here <laughs> even if I wasn't a plant, but I think for a plant sim this is perfect with the large windows and just the romantic vibe with all the plants going on. I really like it. So you're starting with the um, gardening section here. So I'm adding in these six large planter so that you can plant whatever you want i'm making a little entryway here um not like this this looks weird <laughs> i'm gonna change that a little bit and center everything so you have your arches going through your little um uh, garden section and here adding in some uh, romantic garden stuff plants i love those plants and i forgot about them when i did the front so 
halfway through I was like oh I, I, I think I forgot something and I added the plants there in um, so here doing uh, more greenery more flowers more plants just more <laughs> uh, and I think it's looked really nice so here I definitely wanted a little pop of color and I love this pink looking tree I I think it looks beautiful. So here at the back, I'm also gonna end up placing a pink tree as well. So what you can do if you are gonna play with this house with your plant sim, you can delete the tree that I'm gonna place here. At first I wanted a hot top. I don't know why, but I was I had my heart set on a hot top but i just couldn't make it work as you guys can see so i'm gonna replace the plant with a pink tree and what you can do is when you grow your tree just delete that pink tree and replace that with the tree that you are gonna grow because it's a kind of a large tree what i saw and it's also pinky looking so i think it would look really nice there when i'm gonna place the pink tree um, but now it's it's a green yellowy tree it's gonna be pink in just a moment <laughs> so adding in some hedges just for some dimension and to filling it up a little bit more um so yeah we're almost finished here um so yeah, there's the pink tree. So just replace that with that magical tree and you're good to go. Or you can place it at the front as you like. I'm gonna place it at the back because that makes a little bit more sense for me. But you can do, of course, whatever you want with the home. And um, so for downloading the house, by the way, I haven't given you guys the information. Uh, it's all in the description of the video. Uh, search my name, uh, Love Simply Sim on the gallery, if you want this house in your game, or use the link in the description that will take you directly to the gallery or use the blueprint uh, from Dropbox. There's also a link down below. So I will put all the information in the description. Uh, I do that with every video. So if you have a house that you really like of me and you don't know where to find it, please go to the description of that video and there you will find all the information and um, so here started with a little bit of the layout of the home um, I knew I wanted the kitchen there that was very important for me because I wanted the kitchen to be connected with the sunroom and of course the living room I wanted that on the other side because there we had those very very large windows and that just looked really nice to have a living room there and um, so adding in the lighting and all the brick walls that I'm gonna use Use, and then here enlarging that balcony area again because I saw that the sunroom was a little bit too small for everything that I needed to place there um, so yeah here adding in some more flowers of course I mean why not we had just a little bit of space there so I thought more flowers <laughs> and yeah that is what I did and also I'm gonna add in some seating areas and making it look really really nice and of course a barbecue very important so the sim that is gonna live here she is going to be a vegetarian by the way but you can definitely grill like I think you can grill fruits on your barbecue I think we can I'm not sure anymore I haven't used my barbecue in a while I have been eating out quite a lot with my sims recently. I have been going to the hijinks festival and just all the festivals and stuff that you can do um, in city living and we've been going to restaurants. I haven't been cooking much at home and if we did cook at home it was like quick meals. <laughs> I should probably let my sims eat home more often but I just really like to go out to eat with my sims it's just really it's fun it's more fun than staying at home but yeah I should definitely see that but I think we can barbecue fruit on the barbecue um, so yeah that's why I added in the barbecue there uh, also adding in some wind chimes to make that really beautiful sound that I absolutely adore I had a wind chime here in my home uh, when I just uh lived here that is like huh, 12 years ago yeah 12 years ago um that was the first time the first year that we lived here i had also wind chimes outside but the i don't know what happened but one day they just disappeared i think one of the cats might have just ripped it off of its little stand and took it with him because he loved the sound or maybe my mother-in-law 
took it with her because she found the sound annoying. That is also a possibility. I mean, my mother-in-law, if you guys didn't know that she lives right next door to mine and her garden, of course, is next to our garden and it's just separated with one wall. So you can definitely go into my garden from her garden if you want to. And if you go way out back where the horses are, then you can have, you have just, just up, you have a little gate um, that separates us and then you have the stables and you can get into my, my garden as well. So yeah, she, she could have definitely uh, swiped my wind chimes because she was kind of annoyed with it. I'm not sure, but I had them in the beginning when I was living here and I love them so much. And yeah, I'm still on the lookout for uh, a nice looking wind chime. Uh, the ones that I did find, I didn't really like that much. The one that I had was a really beautiful wooden looking wind chime and the ones that I'm finding here are also plasticky looking. I'm not sure, I don't like them, but anyways, uh, still on the lookout for one for my home. And um, so here, starting with the uh, sunroom for the sunroom, I'm going with lots of plants, some planters, of course, for some indoor gardening. And yeah, just a little bit of seating area. So my plant sim can definitely sit here, relax, maybe recharge with those large beautiful windows with lots of natural light um, so yeah this is just really a relaxing area for her so for the style that I'm gonna furnish this home it's gonna be a um, a mix again between modern and traditional I am gonna use a little bit more traditional than modern at some areas and at some areas it's more modern than traditional uh, if you guys understand, so if you look at the kitchen, I'm using really traditional old, not old, but really traditional looking kitchen counters. But then when you look at the living room, I'm using more modern looking furnishing, furnishing <laughs> and here with the dining area as well, more modern looking chairs and tables and rocks. So it's really a mix and I really like doing that. I don't like a overly traditional looking house. Sometimes I do. I mean, when I'm building like a vampire home, then yes, I love a traditional looking home because it fits in with the team. Um, and also when I'm doing like a really a boho home, uh, or a bohemian home, <laughs> then yes, then I also like to make it very, very traditional. Uh, but when I'm doing like a normal Sims home or a Sims family, I like to add in some modern touches because I like that more. That's my personal preference. So if you are watching uh, videos of mine and you are like, oh my gosh, Mona, there she goes again with that modern flair. I can't help it. I just love a little bit of modern in every build. Um, and I love mixing modern and traditional as well. That's something that I absolutely love to do. Um, so yeah, that is what I'm doing here as well. But I do think that the exterior of the home is very traditional. Uh, I mean, some of the windows are a bit modern, but overall, it has a very traditional looking vibe and I'm happy with that. Um, so here I'm moving the staircase. I'm gonna play around with this for a for a little while. Usually I do all my floor planning off camera, but this time I really just wanted to include you guys in the process and I knew this wasn't going to be like a very long floor plan. Sometimes when I'm doing floor planning, it takes me up to one or two hours. So the last time that I spent like an hour and a half almost two hours on the floor plan was with the movie star mansion that I did. If you haven't seen that, by the way, I will link that here up in the screen. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous home. It is a custom content home, but I will be remaking that with a no CC version really soon. Um, but anyways, for that floor plan, that took me an hour and a half to almost two hours because that set up <laughs> because that floor or that house had three stories and I wanted six bedrooms, definitely six bedrooms. I wanted a bowling alley. I wanted a indoor cinema, a spa, um, office area and two living rooms. So I wanted so many things in it and it really took me just a really long time to figure out how a house flowed uh, the best. So yeah, that 
that's why I usually cut out me doing the floor planning because it's kind of boring just seeing me deleting walls all the time and placing walls and going crazy <laughs> um, so yeah that is what I did usually do off camera for it but for this home I thought let's include it it's not a large home and it's it's kind of fun to see how I sometimes struggle with my floor plans but this one wasn't that bad um, so here adding in a wardrobe in the hallway so that your sims can put their jackets and shoes there and of course in the center there is a bathroom I always like to place my bathrooms in the center or in the living room no, not the living room in the hallway that's it so usually when you come into a home um, if it's a normal scaled home you have like a little guest bathroom in the hallway I mean that is usually with the houses in Rotterdam where I'm from originally originally I oh, original I'm from the Netherlands and I lived in Rotterdam and I lived in like a really really normal just traditional suburban home uh, and that those homes have like hallways when you come in you have like a little hallway and always in that hallway you have a bathroom so I always add in a bathroom in my sims hallways as well and that is like a guest bathroom so my home here here in Belgium by the way my bathroom is at the back of the home so you come into my house here and then you have a large staircase going up and we have like a really tiny hallway and then when you go left you have directly my living room you like fall into my living room <laughs> where the, uh, the the couches and stuff like that and then you need to cross the kitchen and then you have another hallway and then you have my bathroom so yeah you need to go through the entire home to get to my bathroom if you are sleeping upstairs and you need to pee you need to go all the way down through the living room through the kitchen and then you have the bathroom and that's kind of annoying and i found that really annoying <laughs> when i was pregnant especially from my first daughter because i didn't know what to expect with my second daughter we had like that portable uh toilet upstairs but with my first daughter i didn't have that and i needed to waddle down the stairs every night not peeing my pants <laughs> which sometimes happens i have to i have to say sometimes I did pee my pants I couldn't help myself but that was so annoying to have a bathroom just on the other side of the house so yeah I when I do my oh my gosh when I do my layouts for my sims I really try to think of how I can place my bathrooms in a very logical way <laughs> because my home is a really good example of how you don't need to do it and for my sims I don't want them to have all the drama like I have and I try to make it look convenient um, anyways I'm blabbing here on floor plans I think we were talking about floor plans so this is the final bedroom and the only bedroom that we are furnishing and here I decided to add in a little bit of color and I love it I love that contrast between that blue greeny color and then the gray I thought it is beautiful I'm definitely gonna use this color scheme again because I really like it so yeah that is basically it we're almost at the end of the video so I hope that you guys enjoyed this little voiceover and of course this house build uh, let me know in the comment section of course what you thought about it I love hearing from you guys I love all your input and just you guys give me so much inspiration you have no idea so yeah, and just leave everything that you want to say to me in the comment section below the video or your ideas or your feedback and of course all your suggestions for another build. Leave them there. I write down everything in my little, not so little anymore book. <laughs> and when I have no inspiration, I go through it and see what I'm gonna build next. Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to place your likes. Of course, very important for the for the video and for the channel uh, that you place your likes if you liked it of course because then we can make the channel grow and I will be so 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 grateful if you did and if this is the first video that you are seeing from me and you like what you're seeing and you like the babbling that I'm doing don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to see more of me so yeah I hope that you guys have a great weekend wherever you are and hopefully I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!
Thank <laughs> you.